our speaker, a faithful servant of God, Pastora Lobby Oriente. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Napakabuti ng Diyos. Amen. A blessed morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. And, and I want to try to greet you in Italian. <laughs> Benedetti Fratelli Sorelli. Huh? The Latino in Cristo. <laughs> uh, and I want also to greet you in Ilocano. Na imbaga bigat, dati kaabsat. Bonjour, my friend is there. And Christ, that's French. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Siyempre, yung ating sariling na uh, language, uh, magandang umaga, mapagpalang umaga, mga kapatid sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. So, in behalf of Assembly of God Paris, we are with you today rejoicing the goodness of God in this church. Hallelujah. Happy 12th church anniversary. Nandito ako kay brother kanina eh. 23, 12, 12. <laughs> I'm sure 12, Brad. Hallelujah. I'm praying and looking forward for more souls and anointing of the Holy Spirit in this church. And I'm so blessed. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to see you all for the second time. The third time, I think. First time, uh, nakapag-join ako ng uh, annual uh, fellowship. Second time, naging uh, kasama ko ang youth na uh, Sentence of God dito po sa France. At uh, napakabuti ng Diyos. You know, when we are about to go in the, um, what do you call that, boarding area, nakapila na kami mga kapatid. Doon ko lang na-notice that I have not, I, I forgot to bring my passport. <laughs> At napakabuti ng Diyos, God is so good because we went in the airport uh, earlier, mas maaga. Then my husband looked at me like this. He wants to kill me. <laughs> and, and he called immediately an Uber and he talked to the driver and told, uh, you wait for my wife, uh, she will just get the passport because she forgot the passport. And wait there and you bring him back at the suite, at the suite right away. Huh? Ah, uh, napakabuti ng Diyos. You know, whenever Satan knows that his servant, the servant of God, will bring the message of God, he tried to hinder the power of the Word of God. But praise God, in 1 John 4.4, 4, it states that greater is he that is within us than he is who is in the world. Amen. So, napakabuti ng Diyos kay ihinder ng kaaway ang mensahe ng Diyos sa umaga nito. God is so great. We already claim the victory for this church anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. And I am with my husband today before I give the message of the Lord for this uh, church sa bawat isa sa atin. Uh, he wants to sing the goodness of God in our lives. Hallelujah. Uh, can I call on Brother Nel Corriendo? <laughs> like this. Brother Nel. Uh, kung hindi po naihanda ni Brother Harley yung kanta, magka-testimony na lang ako sa kabutihan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Brother Harley? Uh, tunay po yung sinabi ni Pastor Domingo na kung hindi tayo tinubos ng Panginoon, na kanyang dugo doon sa krus sa Kalbaryo, wala tayo dito ngayon. Amen. Amen. Because God is good, God is faithful, and His mercies endure forever. Kaya nandito tayo naglilingkod sa Panginoon sa kabila ng mga trabaho, sa kabila ng kapaguran, pero meron tayong oras, panahon para sa Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you lose some, but 
But right now, right now, I'm losing bed. I stood on the stage night after night, reminding the broken it will be alright. But right now, alright now, I just can't. She seems to sing. There's nothing to bring me down But what will I say when I'm held to the flame Like I am right now I know you're able and I know you can Say it through the fire with your mighty hand But even if you don't To move a mountain Well, a good thing A little faith is all I have right now But that when you choose to live mountains unmovable Oh, give me the strength to be able to it is well with my soul I know you're able and I know you can Take through the fire with your mighty hand But even if you don't My hope is you alone I know the sorrow and I know the hurt But don't go away if you just say the word in the anniversary in Bologna. 
And I told them, standing redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. She told me, I, the thing is uh, like pangmahal na araw, pang holy week daw. <laughs> but, alam po natin, the, the message of redeeming and forgiving our sins through the blood of Jesus Christ, it's not only for the month of April. But the message must be a message for our daily life. You know, I'm so amazed about the, the preaching of Billy Graham. You know, the, the late Billy Graham. She, he was the, the, just the, the, ito lang po ang akailan. And you know, whenever I heard the message or Billy Graham preached the word of God, all his message is about redeeming and forgiving. Redemption and about forgiveness of sin. And that message Nowadays, many preachers, evangelists, no, they forgot this message. They forgot the thing why Jesus Christ died on the cross. You know, when you are sensitive enough, when you hear some mega, no, mega church pastors, they are always preaching what we call the prosperity gospel. That God can bless you, God can make you prosper, God can make you beautiful, God can make you handsome. That's what the message nowadays. No? Nawawala po yung tunay na gospel na gusto ng Diyos sa kanyang iglesia. At napakahalaga po ng mensahe nito. This message was very important for us as a believer of Christ. You know, God, uh, wala pong masama dito sa gospel, sa doctrines na to, about the prosperity gospel. Because we all know that our God is a very powerful God and He will bless us. But the problem is God called us into the higher calling. Amen. God called us for eternal life and not only for this world. At yan po ang nawawala. Kaya nga po yung mga bagong kristyano, they don't know why they go to church. Because they do not have a strong foundation of the faith of up to our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a higher calling. We are called for eternal purposes and not only for this world. So the, the sermon on uh, ang ating po pagbubulay-bulayan sa hapon ito ay uh, from Ephesians chapter 1 verses 1 to 8. Kunin po natin ang verses 1 to 8. Ang sabi po dito, let's all read, to God's holy people in Ephesus, uh, let's make it more personal, to God's holy people in Bologna or in Italy, the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Verse 4, for the chose us, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be a holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adaptation to sonship through Jesus Christ. In accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. Verse 7, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. Let's all pray. Thank you, O God. Thank you, Father in heaven, that we have the rights to call you Father, Father, through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are here gathered to witness, Lord, your goodness in our lives. We bless your name and we ask for your guidance, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. May your be our speaker this morning or for this whole day. Let your words be my words. Let your thoughts be my thoughts of God so that we can comprehend the power and the goodness of your holy word. Use your servant, O God. Cover me with your holy blood. Let your glory be shine upon the face of your servant and upon this place. We claim the victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
You know, if you want to know all the spiritual blessings that we have in Christ, you must meditate and be a part of your life. This chapter, Ephesians, especially chapter 1. But we will just meditate one uh, very great blessing that God has given us. Kasi po kung tatalakayin natin all the spiritual blessings, baka 13th anniversary, hindi pa tayo tapos. At dami ng spiritual blessing na ibinibigay ng Diyos sa bawat isang lumalapit sa Kanya. Tatanggapin siya as Lord and Savior. Standing redeemed by the blood of Jesus. But sad to say, there are many Christians that not standing redeemed. They are sitting redeemed. <laughs> sitting redeemed. When we say standing, you are staying in the presence of God. You are staying in His love. You are staying in serving God. When we say standing, you are active as a child of God. Amen. Tayo po ay may pakinabang sa iglesia. That what's the meaning of standing redeemed. Before in my life, I have no idea about redeem, redeem or redemption. Sa Pilipinas, whenever I have no money, if I have a jewelry, I will bring the po siya. Uh, maybe the mga kapatan nito in the youth don't know about this. Yung isa sanda. No? I will go in the pawn shop, I will bring my necklace, eh, siyempre gold. No? Uh, and uh, I, uh, I, whenever I see the picture, uh, uh, that is it. May nakalagay doon, redemption period. No? Redemption period. So yun lang ang pagkakaalam ko sa redemption nung hindi pa ako Christian. No? But praise to God, ina inalista ko ng Diyos doon sa sa um, attitude na yun that whenever you have uh, kulang sa pera, nagsasanla because our God is the uh, grace is sufficient God is our provider so redemption period na? when uh, hindi na lang mo yung medyo hinaan natin yung ate ano kasi katulad ni brother Nef, medyo malakas din ang boses ko kaya pag nagsigaw ang kami yun no Hallelujah. Redemption period, you have to redeem on that particular day. No? When you do not give your payment, the pawn shop, the pawn shop will get your jewelry. Kasi hindi mo siya natubos. Now, if you do not have the full amount, no? Magbibigay ka ng ano? Interest? Oh. Pupunta ka doon monthly, itong interest, wala pa kasi akong pera para matubos ko, no, to redeem the full payment. So, uh, ganun din po nung sa, sa lumang tipan, in the Old Testament, the Jewish people, no, they have to bring a particular animal, no, to kill, and the blood, kailangan may pumapata na dugo doon sa animal, to cover their sin. Not to forgive their sin, but just to cover their sin. Yan po ang gawain ng mga Israelita noon. Because, because they do not have the power to forgive their sins. Pero napaka-blessed po tayo. We do not have to bring yearly animals to kill and to pour blood to cover our sin. The blood of Jesus is enough. Not only to cover our sin, but to forgive and wash away all our sins. Iyan po ang ating napakagandang pag-asa sa buhay na ito. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Of all the names of the Bible gives, and all the names that believers give to Jesus Christ, none is more precious than the name Redeemer. Sabihin nga po natin, Redeemer. Redeemer. Hallelujah. There are other names we use more often, no, as Lord and Savior. And rightly, this is the right word because those two are Bible terms. But no word touches our heart like the word Redeemer. Because when we say Lord, we are recalling that Jesus Christ is the master over sin and death. And when we say uh, Savior, we are recalling that Jesus Christ saved us from our sins. So what is the 
difference between Lord and Savior. But when we say Redeemer, we remember what caused Jesus to save us. What caused Jesus to save us? Redeemer is the name of Christ on the cross. Hallelujah. Redeemer is the name of Christ on the cross. When we say the word, the cross is noticed in front of our eyes. We remember not only that he gave us salvation, but he paid. Again, he paid a mighty price for him. So this sermon will deal with divine redemption. Divine redemption. Why we need redemption? Everyone is in need of redemption. Dahil isinanda po tayo ni Satanas. Amen? Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Sinanla tayo. Ano? Isinanla tayo ni Adan at ni Eva kay Satanas. Kailan? When was that happen? No? Mula na nagkasalat si Eva at si Adan. Ang bawat isa na isinilang sa mundo, nakasanla tayo ng Satanas. Hallelujah. That's why we need redemption. At kung hindi namatay ang Panginoon, tayong lahat ay nandoon pa sa home shop. Shop ni Satanas. Nakakulong. But praise the Lord. Our natural condition was characterized by guilt. Romans 3.23 All have sinned. Kahit pinakamabuti ka pang tao, kahit pinakamapagbigay ka pang tao, you are a sinner. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now we go. To redeem means, yan, to set free by the payment of a price. To buy back. You know, the Old Testament, the original written language of the Old Testament is in uh, Hebrew. Sa Hebrew po yan sinulat. Pero yung New Testament, yan po is a Greek word sinulat. So, sa Hebrew word, pag sinabi po natin redeem, the Hebrew word of redeem is gaal. Sabi nga natin gaal. Gaal. Gaal actually refers to the redeemer or the person doing the redeeming. And sometimes it is translated as near kinsman. You know the near kinsman story in the Old Testament in the book of Ruth? The near kinsman redeemer. No? That's why we sing, I know my, my, my redeemer lives. No? Redeemer lives. My redeemer lives. There's one favorite a uh, kinsman story about Ruth. No, namatay yung uh, dalawang asawa ni Ruth. Dalawa ka ba? Ah, <laughs> namatay kasi yung, yung unang anak ni Naomi. No, ganun po sa Old Testament. Yung pangalawang brother, yun ang napangasawa. No? At, uh, yan, yeah, nagsanda yung kanilang lupa. At kailangan nila nang nagtutubos noon. Ah, uh, alam ko, the other youth uh, cannot understand Tagalog. No, translate na lang ng katabi kung hindi may tingnan. No. Ayan. Kailangan matubos yung lupa. At yung may karapatan ng magtubos ay yung near relatives. Kaya yung tinawag na near kinsman redeemer. Na? Near kinsman, ibig sabihin yung pinakamalapit na kamag-anak. At ang pinakamalapit na kamag-anak, pero isa, kaya lang, ang napili ng Diyos ay si Boaz. Si Boaz. So, Boaz redeemed the land, not only paid the full payment of the land, but he took Ruth as his, his own and he marries Ruth. So, pinayaran niya fully paid lahat ng lupa na kasanla no? ni Ruth. And he took Ruth as his own, as his wife. Para niya lahat. 
nung pagkakasanda ni Adan sa akin. Binayaran niya ng kanyang buhay, kinuha niya tayo bilang kanyang mga anak, and Jesus Christ married His church. Jesus Christ. The church is His bride and the groom is Jesus Christ. Ang iglesia po ito ay pinakasalan. Hindi lamang tayo tinubos ng Panginoon sa ating mga kasalanan. Tayo na kinuha bilang kanyang mga anak and marry us as His child. In Christ, we have redemption. God it pertains or actually refers to the Redeemer. And in Greek word, that mga mga sistan, and in Greek word, no? so if you will just analyze, napakaraming words na pwede gamitin ng Diyos, but He used this word, redeem, redemption. Sa Greek word, mas maiintindihan po natin, redemption. No? Four words that translated, and I will give it to you. Letter A, ang una po ay tinatawag natin agorazo. Agorazo. Yan po ay Greek word. Agorazo, the marketplace for slaves. Kung matatandaan po natin noong unang panahon, uso-uso yung nagbebenta. No? Nagbebenta ng tao to become their slaves. Hindi lamang mga bata, higit sa lahat mga kababaihan, mga babae, binebenta yan, no? Magbibidin sila ngayon, parang sa auction. Yung pataasan ng bidding. Oh, uh, 50 euro. Pag may kumano doon, 100 euro. Yan, yan po ang katayuan ng mga babae noon. Bihira sa lalaki yung binibenta. Mostly babae. Na? Uh, may sumagot doon, uh, 1,000 euro. Yung pinakamataas, doon siya. Ibibenta. Magiging alipin siya. She will become a servant. So ito po yung picture na sinasabi nating redemption place. Agoraso, the marketplace for slaves. At hindi lamang po mga tao, no? Mga babae, maging mga lalaki. At higit sa lahat, sino po yung nasa marketplace na yun? Marketplace for slaves. That is Jesus Christ. Once and for all, mga kapatid, si Jesus po, nandoon sa marketplace of slaves. Ang sabi po sa Revelation 5.9, and they sang a new song, saying, you are worthy to take this scroll and to open its seals because you were slain. And with your blood, you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. Walang pinili ang Diyos sa kanyang pagliligtas. Every tribe, Ilocano, Tagalog, kami po sa Kabite, may sariling language, Chabacano. Chabacano, like a uh, uh, um, baroque na Spanish. Yan, ang, ang Chabacano. So, every language. So, yung nagpe-pray kanina sa opening prayer, no? Uh, even though we do not understand, kami po, hindi namin maintitihan. But we feel the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because of the blood of Jesus Christ, who once and for all died on that marked place of slave, it unites us as our brothers and sisters. We feel His presence. We feel His love. Jesus Christ entered the marketplace for slaves. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. People buy another people to become their slaves. Minsan po, when they are in that place, they snap them, no? To to test their temperance, to test their endurance. Kung talagang malakas ito. Minsan, they are open in their mouth, no? Kung buo yung ipin. O, oh, pagsak na doon yung mga sira ang ipin, siguro. Buti na lang, hindi tayo mabibenta. No? Ganun po ginagawa doon sa marketplace. At doon na, nalimutan niya na po. Ganon. Masigit doon ang ginawa nila sa Panginoon. Amen. They hit Jesus Christ. They use a scourge. Hallelujah. Unbelievable thing. But, minsan, mga kapatid, nandoon 
ang Diyos. Jesus himself entered into the marketplace and became a slave to redeem us. Jesus was beaten up. Jesus was mocked. Jesus was scourged on that marketplace so that Jesus can take us away. Can give us the redemption to be his sons and daughters. And I want to catch into your spirit, mga kapatid, when Jesus became a human to save us and he became our redeemer to buy us back, to make us free. Our redemption cost God his son. Our redemption cost Jesus his life for us to be redeemed. Jesus has to leave the glories of heaven. Take on a robe of a human flesh. Face the rejection of this world. Endure mock. Endure the scorn from his enemies. And suffer the horrific pain of an old rugged cross. Just to redeem us. Hallelujah. Minsan, naroon tayo sa auction. Maraming bumibili sa ating kawal. Gusto ko yun. Tandoon ang Panginoong Isus. I want that child. I want that woman. Ang sabi sa kanila ng may-ari ng mga slaves na yun, ibibigay ko lang sila sa iyo. Babayaran. Ang sabi ng Panginoong Isus, magkan. Ang sabi ng kaaway, walang presyo. Buhay. Nung pinili tayo ng Diyos. When God told us, I want that woman. I want that young man. I, I want that young lady. Ang sabi ng kaawa, kung gusto mo siyang bilhin, ibigay mo ang buhay. And Jesus Christ, because of His love, binigay niya ang kanyang buhay. Once and for all, Jesus Christ was there. Entered the marketplace of slaves. The sex. Second word is exagorazo. When we say ex, out of. Kaya pag sinabi natin exagorazo, means out of. When you are to agorazo, it means to go out of into the slave market. To pay the price and to take somebody off the slave market and out of the area altogether. Agorazo, naroon siya. Out of, naroon siya upang mag-alis ng isang alipi. Ng alipi. Galatians 3.13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Curse is everyone who is hung on board. So, siya yung nag ginawang sumpa. Sa halip na tayo ang, maging, ang, mag, ang magtamo ng curse, it is Jesus Christ Himself carrying the curse. Not only became a slave, Jesus Christ, but He made us out from the marketplace. Nung unang panahon, kaya binibili para maging alipin, to be a servant. But Jesus Christ, binili niya tayo not to be a servant, but to take us out doon sa pagkakaalipin natin sa ating mga pagkakasala. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness, righteousness of Jesus Christ. Romans 6.20 Sabi po sa Romans 6.20 When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. Hallelujah. Sa pagkatalang natin, we were sold under sin. Satan sold us in sin. The bondage of sin. Saan po tayo nakakulong? Saan po tayo nakalipin? We are a bondage of sin. Maybe a sin of anger. No? We are sold to anger. Sino po dito yung laging galit? Yan. Naisan lang tayo. Isa tanas sa anger. We are sold to fear. Sino po dito yung laging takot? Hmm. Takot mawala ng pera. Takot mawala ng boyfriend. 
O yan po ay kasalanan. Pag ang kristyano po natakot, nawawala yung faith natin. And when you have no faith, it's a sin. It is not a sugar. It is a sin. Kasalanan po yan. Hallelujah. Out of the market. Alam niyo po, meron isang magandang istorya sa Old Testament. When there is a slave, binili niya yung babae. Remember? Who is that? Hosea. Hosea and Gomer. Gomer? Hosea is a prophet of God. Si Gomer, pinakasalan niya ay isang prostitute. Prostitute. Sumasama siya sa iba't ibang lalaki. Naibenta siya ng lalaki, ibinanta ulit na nandoon si, si Hosea, binili niya si Gomer. Nagkaroon sila ng tatlong anak. This is Exagoroso. Uh, isang uh, magandang illustration. Kinuha ni Gomer, kinuha ni Hosea si Gomer mula doon sa auction of slaves. Nagkaroon sila ng tatlong anak. And after that, pumunta ulit si Gomer sa kanya. Bumalik siya sa dati niyang pagkatao. Naging prostitute siya. Sumama siya sa ibang ibang lalaki to different kinds of men. Hanggang isang araw, nakita na lang ni Hosea na doon ulit sa marketplace si Gomer, binibenta. And, and Hosea was at the back. He wants to buy back his wife, Gomer. Ang sabi po sa Hosea 3, 1-2, ang sabi ng Panginoon kay Hosea, Yan. The Lord said to me, Go, show your love to your wife again. Though she loved by another man and is an adulteress, the rest, love her as the Lord loves the Israelites. Though they turn to other gods and love the sacred racing cakes. So I bought her for 15 shekel, shekel of silver and about a homer of barley. Yan. Binili ulit ni Gomer. That is what we call the Exagoros. Kahit pumalit na si Gomer sa kanyang dating buhay, binili pa rin siya ni Hosea. Yan po ang ating kalagay, mga kapatid. Kahit patuloy tayong nagkakasala, patuloy tayong inaabot ng Diyos, pinapatawan, nililinis, dahil yung kanyang dugo sa bundok ng Kalbari. Hanggang ngayon, may bisa na, na lahat ng isa lahat. We do not have to condemn ourselves because from glory to glory, God is changing us. We are in this imperfect world. Kahit tayo po'y mga anak na ng Diyos, minsan tayo po'y nagkakasala. Ngunit katulad po ng sinabi ng Diyos kay Gomer, bilhin mo ulit siya. Kahit matigkas ang ulo niya, every time we come before in the presence of God and ask His forgiveness, Jesus Christ is very willing to forgive us. Hallelujah. S. Saburoso. Pangalawa, pangatlo, lutrosis. A Greek word, lutrosis of redemption. The full payment of the slaves. Hebrew 9.12, He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but He entered the most holy place once and for all by His own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. When we say Lutrosis, the fulfillment of the slaves, God gave the world to Adam and Eve. Ibinigay ng Diyos ang napakagandang paraiso, ang napakagandang relasyon nila no, ng Diyos. But Adam and Eve lost it to Satan. Ngunit, binalik yan ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang bukto na anak. Jesus decided to buy it back like Homer, like Hosea. He buy back his wife, Homer. Jesus Christ decided to buy us back from Satan. You and I stand in the slime block, mga kapatid. Paul uses the word spiritual sense to refer that Christ paying the price of our sin by his sacrificial death on the cross on our behalf. We were helplessly. 
Wala tayong magagawa to cleanse our state. We are hopelessly, we are enslaved to sin and under God's just condemnation. But His own blood, mga kapatid, by His own blood, Christ paid the penalty to release us from bondage. We now belong to Him. Hallelujah. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you now belong to Jesus. Jesus paid for you. Yeah. Alam niyo po tayo mga Pilipino, gusto gusto natin ililibre tayo. Yung kumakain tayo, pero libre. <laughs> o, oh, diba? Ganyan po ang ating katayo, mga kapatid. Although nagkakasala tayo, pinayaran tayo ng dugo ni Kristo. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the price for our redemption and Calvary is healed. With every lash on his back as the Roman soldier scourged Jesus. Sa bawat latay ang nakasulat doon, Jesus paid. Sa bawat palo sa katawan ni Cristo, ang ibig pong sabihin noon, Jesus paid the price. At hindi lamang mong isang latay ang natangulo pa ko. Mula ulo hanggang paa, may latay po yan. May sugat. At sa bawat sugat, mga kapatid, tandaan nyo ang nakasulat dyan. Jesus, pay the price. Jesus, pay the price. With the swing of the hammer that dropped this price with two hands and feet, Jesus, pay the price. With every drop of the precious blood of Jesus, fell there in the Golgotha. Sa bawat dugo na pumata, ang nakasulat ko doon, Jesus, pay the price. Jesus, pay the price. Pang-apat, aprolotros. Ito po ang maganda, mga kapatid. The full payment of slaves, freedom. Sabi nyo nga, freedom. The Greek word for redemption, apotrosis, which is literally made, translated, paid in full. When Jesus cried on the cross, it is finished. Sa Greek word, sabi nga, tetelestai. Tetelestai. It is finished. He used a word that meant paid in full. This speaks of discharging them. Wala ka ng utang. Wala ka ng utang kay Satan. Kaya pwede ka nang mapalaya. Meron pong isang story, ha? No? Accidentally, the 12-year-old killed the favorite geese. Na yung geese sa Tagalog? Gansa. No? Mahimit siyang magpatog. And he accidentally killed the favorite gifts of the family. Sa takot niya, sa kanyang mga magulang, sa kanyang mga lolo at lola, no? Binaon niya yung gansa. Pa siya habang nagbabaon. Gusto niya walang nakakita sa kanya. No? He doesn't notice that her, that his elder sister saw the crimen, the big crimen in the family. So, ba naglalakad siya, sabi nung ate niya, nakita kita. Napatay mo yung gansa. Hindi. Inilibing mo, alika. Ako, huwag mo kusumbong nga, huwag mo kusumbong kay nanay, hindi tatay. Sige, hindi tayo susumbong. Pero lahat ang iutos ko sa'yo, susundin mo. Kasi ang trabaho niya, ha, she wash the plates every meal. So, from now on, you will wash the plates. Ay, sabi nung 12 year old, ah, may trabaho na ako, ako nagwawalis eh. No, 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 no. Ah, ayaw mo? Sumo kita. Ah, sige, sige, gagawin ko. So, how, for how many months, pag ayaw gawin ng 12 year old, I will tell you to mock to nanay. Ang ginagawa niya, kahit sa mga loob niya. Kasi, I will tell you to nanay. Okay, you can tell. Why? Ang sabi po ng 12 year old, I already confessed to nanay, to tatay, to lolo, and lolo. What I did. 
and they forgive me. Now I am free. Hallelujah. What we need is to come to Jesus Christ. Confess our sins and He will make us free. That is absolute process. You are not slaves anymore, mga kapatid. Dati tayo alipin ang galit, alipin ang ating mga bisyo, alipin ang pagiging chismosa. Yan po ay alipin tayo niyan. But when we wash by the blood of Jesus Christ, hindi tayo pinatawad lang ng Diyos. We are just only forgiven. But Jesus set us free from those sins so that we can live a life that is holy and will give glory to God who saved us and who redeemed us as a children of God. Sabi po sa Ephesians 1.7 In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Jesus didn't just buy us back but give us freedom from what from being sinner. Galatians 4, 7 So you are no longer a slave. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka na alipin ang kasalanan. Pinalaka ka na ni Cristo. Hallelujah. So you are no longer a slave but God's child. And since you are this child, God has made you also an heir. Tagapagmana. Hallelujah. Maliwana po sa atin yung redemption mga kapatid. Jesus entered the marketplace for slaves. Adorazo. The marketplace for slaves. Pero hindi nagtapos doon. Jesus Christ take us out of the marketplace for slaves. Hindi pa rin natapos doon. Lutrosis. The full payment of slaves. At hindi pa rin natapos doon mga kapatid. Ako. Uh, sa pangapangapan. Ako. Lutrosis. The full payment of slaves. Freedom. We are free from all our sins. Hallelujah. Kung babasahin po natin ang gospel na Mateo, nag start sila, no? Uh, sa genealogy of Jesus. Yung sa lahi na pinanggalingan ng Panginoong Jesus. The son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begat the son, begat the son, begat, no? Kaya ngayon nga na begat, hmm. <laughs> Bigot and son. Oh. Kung papasahin pa natin yun, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begot Isaac, the son and son and son, son and son and son. Jesus Christ left us to make us His son. Hallelujah. The son of God. We are the sons of God. God didn't create us to be a slave, but He created us to be a son and daughters of Christ. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 15, 45. So it is written, the first man become, the first man, Adam, become a living being. But the last Adam, and that is Jesus Christ, is a life-giving spirit. A life-giving spirit. Sins always bring death. Tandaan po namin yan, mga kapatid. Ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. Sins always bring death. But God the Father didn't allow us to die from our sins. But redeem us through the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ voluntarily told God the Father, I will die for my bride. We are so privileged, mga kapatid. We belong. We belong in the family of God. We belong in this church. Sang araw, kukunin ang Diyos sa kanyang brat. Kukunin tayo ng Diyos. And that is our greatest hope in His life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sa pagtatapos po ng mensahe, mga kapatid, ipagpapatuloy natin mamaya. At the end of the message, every pastor and evangelist always tell, let's close our eyes.